This is a video how to do an alignment. It's a simple toe in, toe out, not a fancy alignment, just so that you can take it to an alignment store. I have a little diagram here that I use. And what I'm gonna try and do is I have a center line that I marked and I'll show you in a minute with a string. And then I get this measurement Y, then I get this measurement Y and I try and get them equal. And then I go to the front and do the both the same, get these both equal. Once I get those all four equal, then I will start doing the toe in and toe out. I just wanna get this somewhat in the center line because you could have this as a good number and still be off. So I'll, for the XX, I'll measure in front of the bar and in the back of the bar. So let me just show you the center line. So I have a center line marked. I have a little piece of wood just so that it doesn't touch the exhaust and it goes all the way to the front. So it's not touching anything. It's marked here on the center and that way I can uh, go all the way up front and get it so that this car is not going to crab. And that's the goal, just to get it close. And I have a friend that's going to help me measure. And he's going to put it on the center line. And we're going to get 41 and 3 eighths. We're going to go to this side. I will try and get this rear end the same. And you can see this is a lot off. And you can see the parallel. It's pointing out. So this one we're going to have to, on this side, tow it in so it somewhat matches the other one. So at 41 and 3 eighths, and this one is 43 and 7 eighths. You can see with this one, this left rear is towing in. This one is towing out. So even if you measure and got the rear, and the front measured, you could still be crabbing to the left or to the right. So I always do the center line to get them close, and then I'll do the front and rear measurements, which I'll do in a minute. Okay, so we've done the first minor adjustment. This is just a one inch square tube aluminum from Home Depot. I've cut it, zip tied it, so it touches the rim, does not touch the tire. Touches the rim on this side and it gets you somewhat straight. So now we're going to just check again and see the goal is to get it around 42 and a quarter, 42 and an eighth, and there is 42 and a quarter. We'll see how close the front one is on this side. And that is 42 and an eighth. So that is close enough that we could start doing from wheel to wheel. And I'm gonna go all the way to the other side. And that is going to be 84 and an eighth. So now we're going to go to this side. And we're going to try and get 84 and an eighth. So you can see here it's 85. So we got to toe out just a tad and keep it in the center. So going back and forth, these are the measurements. They're rough numbers. 
but I started off with 41 3 8 and I bumped it up to 43 3 8 back and forth and then I got this number slightly down so this tire was this away and this one was this away so it's possible to get this and this parallel and be crabbing so that's why I adjust it to the center adjust this one to the center get these numbers 43 3 8 43 3 8 close to each other and then I'll take over and get this number 86 and a half rough number a measure from the back of the square tube all the way across I get 86 and a half and then I'll take it to the front and measure across here that way I'm going to get this toe in and toe out balance sorted out. So that's how I do it. It gets close and I'm just going to repeat for the front. Okay, so we've gone back and forth getting the center line adjusted and then adjusting it back and forth between the two uh, square tubing for the front and the rear. So the center from center left right is pretty much the same and now we're gonna check for toe in and toe out and we've got 86 and a half and a little smidgen construction guys are gonna laugh because I can't read a tape measure and then this one is 86 and a half that's as close as you're going to get. So the way you do the adjustment... Okay, so this is the rear suspension. Put a pipe wrench. Vice grip. One of these little thingies, clamp it, tighten it really tight, and then you just rock it back and forth. And these are a left hand and a right hand thread. So when you turn this clockwise or counterclockwise, it's going to push this tie rod in or out. And that's how you're going to get your center. So what I first do, see if I can do this without getting you guys too dizzy as I measure front of the tire from this one inch square tube and I measure all the way across to the center so that gives me a, a measurement and then I'll measure from here across to that one and once I get those numbers close back and forth then I will do the front bar all the way to the rear bar and that way I don't have it crabbing because I'll know that this distance from here to there two fronts are very close and then I'll do the measurements back and forth that way I can guarantee that the tires are aiming straight forward okay we're gonna do the front okay we're doing the front now got it all set up we've got the steering wheel in the center as best we can we check the idler arm and the pitman arm make sure they're even so I've got 43 and a half on this side And we've got 42 three quarter. So this side needs to come out about a quarter inch and then we'll check it again. Okay, so we've done the adjustments on the front and we're gonna measure the center. And we've got 43 on the left side. And this is a give and take back and forth. As you adjust one side, it disturbs the other. So we've got 43 on this side. And now we're gonna go all the way to the other side. 
magically my tape measure moves. And we've got like 86 and maybe a 16th. Windy day today. Uh, we've got a little toe in of like seven eighths, 80, 85 seven eighths. So we'll continue.